Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut. And another update on Beeper. They have uh, somewhat been able to fix the Beeper Mini app now here on Android. Um, one thing that is not working is the SMS registration. So you do have to sign in to your Apple ID. Now, that is not uh, connecting your Apple ID to a remote Mac like the Beeper Cloud application does. It is all still local here on the Beeper Mini application. Uh, but the limitation to that is you can only send and receive messages from a uh, Apple ID email. So if you send a message, receive a message, it's going to be to and from um, that Apple ID email rather than your phone number. Now, if you're like me and you have a SIM card and another phone, um, you can still attach your SIM to an iPhone. And as long as you deactivate that SIM, but leave it in your iPhone so the, the number stays attached to the Apple ID on the iPhone, you can sign into your Apple ID on your Beeper mini application and still select that phone number. So I have an eSIM in my iPhone 15 Pro Max and I have switched that eSIM to the SIM in this uh, OnePlus Open right here. And now I can still send and receive from my phone number as long as I don't delete that deactivated eSIM from my iPhone. Um, if I do delete that deactivated eSIM from my iPhone, it's gonna deregister the iMessage with the phone number, and then I will only have to be, I will only be able to send and receive from the email. Now they did say they are working on fixing that, so you can register your phone number directly in the application, which means you can register your phone number without having to have it attached to an iPhone, which would be really nice, and that's that's what was working before. Um, and that was kind of the purpose of the Beeper Mini application. You could register your phone number without having an Apple device, and you did not have to rely on connecting your Apple ID to a remote Mac and having that Mac basically forward your messages to the application. Um, so if you were concerned about doing that, you don't have to do that in Beeper Mini. Um, so it is working uh, working again for the uh, current current time. Now, for foreseeable future, will we have issues again? We don't know. They did say they are removing the subscription currently while they work that out um, to see if they are going to be able to keep this going. They don't want to charge people um, with it being uncertain right now. So this is kind of not a beta, the application itself works just fine, but Apple is obviously trying to kill this. Um, they did successfully once already, and they are going to try it again, I'm sure, um, because they do not want Android users using iMessage uh, on their Android devices, obviously, for you know obvious reasons. But hopefully, um, Beeper does find a way to keep this going, at least for a while. It is a nice application. It is nice to be able to uh, send and receive iMessages on my Android um, because I can see them on the Mac. And I've been getting a lot of comments on this on my videos um, when I've been talking about Beeper is a lot of people are like, why does it matter about the green bubble? It, it doesn't to me. Um, but to be, I, I use a Mac for my computer. So to be able to use messages on my Mac and send and receive iMessages on there and send and receive iMessages on here. And then if I'm using my iPhone, my messages are on here. It's just the easiest application to keep them all tied together uh, rather than using you know, WhatsApp or some other messaging platform because not a lot of people that I know use that. So iMessage is the, the most popular here in the United States and um, it's the easiest to keep my messages all unified in one application. So to be able to send and receive them on Android is a pretty big deal. Now with Beeper Cloud, you can still do that. Um, it's that, that still does work. That works just as it, as it always has. You sign into a, a remote Mac, basically it puts your Apple ID on there and it basically acts as like a forwarding service for your account. So that is the current status of Beeper Mini. Again, they did remove the subscription so you don't have to pay the, I believe it was $199 or $299 a month. Um, they did give you a seven day free trial. If you had the trial before that, they extended it, but I just saw word from them that they are not going to be charging people um, while this is still uncertain and while they're still working out those other issues, especially with the phone number registration and stuff like that. So for the time being, Beeper Mini is back and we will see how long this lasts. If anything happens to it, I will keep you guys updated. Um, so make sure you click that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, I'm Colin with Tech Out. Have a great day.